All right. Welcome to the second Gamer Gents United podcast. I am one of your hosts, TV Siak, but you can call me Teddy. I have with me Sean. What up? And then Nate. What's going on? And then Eric. Hey. All right. Let's just go ahead and uh, start it off because we, uh, we have some guests we need to play. <laughs> so um, I, I'm pretty sure I just answered this. What has everyone been playing? Destiny. <laughs> Destiny. I'm, I'm going to start. <laughs> I'm gonna start with what I actually uh, have been playing before Destiny came out, though, because we started this like a week before Destiny came out, before the last podcast, after the last podcast. So, um, I, before that, I was playing freaking The Last of Us Remastered, Velocity 2X, Diablo 3, all on the PS4, uh, Minecraft a little bit before. Uh, I he plays think Minecraft. That's it. I played a little bit of Watch Dogs one day, and then I stopped. <laughs> wow. Still haven't beaten that game. <laughs> haven't. Haven't beaten it. I'm sure Sean, I think we all know what he's been playing. <laughs> God, I've been fucking binging Destiny. Like, I want to play it right now, but you fucked hard to keep me up, so let's get this going. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's <No>. the attitude. <laughs> That's the uh, Nate has been kind of busy with He's life. fucking gardening. <laughs> <God. laughs> gardening simulator twenty four flowers and shit. You know, it's real life. Man. Man. He's been playing Hot season seven, so oh, okay. Hot season, season, season has begun, so hunting I'm getting ready for hunting simulator twenty fourteen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hunting simulator real life. Um, no, and then uh, just just work and stuff like that. But no, I've been playing a little Destiny. I like it. It's good to sit down for a few hours and then play it, and then I was mm-hmm. like, okay, let's go back to gardening. Something else. Twelve hours at a time. Well, yeah. no thank you. I did play. I did play it. Nobody was wanted to play with me last night. Everybody was doing their own thing, so I was on for a while. Did you message me? Or tell us oh. you were playing. Don't message me on playing? Skype either, man. You should have just told us. You should have like messaged us on PlayStation. We played. Oh, that's all right. No, so I was playing. I got. To, I'm level nine now. <laughs> You guys are like level 26, whatever. But no, um, I just got done with all the moon missions, and now I'm going to beat us, baby. <laughs> beat us. The beat game is fucking. so my favorite, I think, yeah. like playing it. Boy, boy, boy. So <laughs> playing it by yourself is uh is fun. No. It's just like the game. It's so at home with three people. It's yeah, it you fits know. so well. You know, you can have fun playing it by yourself. I completely had a lot of fun playing it alone, but. Yeah. With the element of the socialism in the game, like just being a social aspect of it, it just it adds to the depth of the game. You know, getting shooting something and then seeing something else die right beside it because your buddy's shooting at it's really nice. So I mean, but I, also you get a good feeling alone when you take out everything by yourself and you're like, yeah, I'm that badass. And that's what I like about it—the strategy part of it because you know you just can't go in and run in and just go, fuck yeah, yeah. shoot yeah. all over just, the place. Just well, wait until okay. you get to no. like. Well, you can if you do it on easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah but you no, can. I haven't been, I haven't been playing on easy. Yeah. Been, just wait until I, you get to if like. I, if, it's, uh, if it's not very hard, I've been playing it on hard. Yeah. So. Just wait until you get to like level twenty-two strikes, where you have to strategize, but not just with yourself, with other freaking oh, people. No. But wait till you get Eric, to the heroic shit. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what difficult. I meant. Like heroic, that's what heroic weekly is. at level twenty-four, and yeah. then nightfall or at level twenty-six. My bad. Yeah. It's so much more difficult. It's I like That's what in I like. comparison, the twenty two to the twenty six would be like seven points harder in my opinion on a scale of one to ten. Like it's ridiculous. The weekly heroic is twenty two for us. Yeah, but you can put it up to twenty four if you're high enough. Oh, okay, yeah. But uh we did that today and Eric, we did it right before this and Eric was freaking not even wait, is that hold on, go back. Get the that was landmark. Is that neat? Oh. This is a limited edition I found in a GameStop. They only sell <laughs> just the amount of these, and I got one. So nice. it's it's holographic and everything. Like it's collector's edition. I'm a big Ever, EverQuest guy, so oh, oh I hold on. What? Oh god. Oh. Boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I hate you. <laughs> no. Yeah, but you know what? I have a lanyard, and you don't. <laughs> yeah, I have two posters and a land and bracelet. I lit- Oh yeah, Destiny and. Uh, See, I didn't get it. that poster. Exactly. Suck it, suck got, it. No, I didn't get that poster. I got a different poster. Hold on, let me show you that one. Mm. Like suck it. Everybody, everybody's going all over. Suck <laughs> it. 
Diablo 3 console edition, by the way. So, Eric, what have you been playing? Um, pretty much the same. Stephanie. Stephanie and... Yeah, I got that one. Everyone should have gotten yeah, that one. Minecraft. Um, lots of stuff. And Nate has a moose. Nate's got a moose. This is my friend. That's because he's almost Canadian, eh? You guys saw it, right? You guys saw the poster. <laughs> Mate. You didn't... You, All right, guys, so you guys saw my poster, right? I didn't yeah, just yeah. hold it up. Everyone has that. Okay. <laughs> I have that. I have it back. I don't have it. <laughs> I need to put... I'm going to put a Destiny poster right here, I think. Yeah. Or move this one over here. I want to get freaking... I have like two or three posters, but I haven't put them up yet since we moved. I want to get them... What's everyone watching? I want to get frames. Um, well, well, Doctor Who! Eric, what were you playing before Doctor Who? Before Destiny? Not Doctor we already we already went over that. He yeah, I said, like, We're paying Diablo. attention to my poster. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> I am going to... I'm going to actually back into... Uh, I'm actually going to get back into... Um, Age of Empires. Ooh. Oh, when it comes out, the new one. Okay. That's actually um, one of my. No, I don't. I don't want the new one. The no, new one looks, be... looks stupid. Yeah, we'll I, go I'm over going, that later. I'm going back to the EverQuest two or not EverQuest. Age 2. of Empires two. <laughs> Age of Empires two and the mythology and three. I like futuristic stuff. So, anyways, what's everyone been watching, Teddy? Freaking. Um, yeah. I don't know. Exactly. What, was, what was after the last one? Um, what was what happened after the last? It's been two weeks. I've uh, been watching Ruby, Korra Ended, uh, Sword Art Online, which is still really, eh. really weird it's and good and good but and weird. awful at the same time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Doctor Who, uh, Do I guess that's it, really. I, I, I'm Doctor Who oh, I'm into right freaking, now. Freaking South Park. <laughs> I got I yes. went on a South Park South binge. Park. I'm on like season <laughs> four, and I started like two that's or three true. days ago. <laughs> it's so good. It's so hilarious. I love South Park. And that's about it. Yeah. Yeah. Sean? Huh? You've been watching. What? Oh, I uh, I just started watching Parks and Rec. Watched the pilot earlier today, and it's a uh, pretty funny show. So I'm looking forward to watching that. <laughs> yeah, I want to watch that eventually. I have it in my like, Netflix list, but it's <laughs> I haven't watched it yet. But freaking Nate with his moose. <laughs> just hanging out. <laughs> well, no, but uh, I've been watching Doctor Who actually. Um, I'm almost there, caught up to the to the last. I'm on the uh, episode season eight, episode three right now with Sherlock, um, Sherwood Forest with Robin Hood. Um, it's called Robot of Sherwood. But uh, yeah, I watched I watched all the way from when they revamped it all the way to. Uh, the last season, and now and I ended it last mm -hmm. night. And now I'm catching up on all. So the that's what he's been doing with his free time. <laughs> yes, actually, yeah, that's what Destiny. I'm doing. I, not I playing do. Destiny. No, I'm not playing Destiny. But then, yeah, I'm, I like I said, I'm and then I'm right now. I'm trying to build my fuck, Twitch channel. <laughs> <laughs> um, There's I want to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna build my Twitch channel up and get that going. So. But uh, I don't know, continue? man. Just gotta, just gotta play Destiny. It's amazing. Yeah, we'll we'll see. Good, Gosh, dang it, Sean. <laughs> Good for you, Sean. Uh, Eric. Oh, I've been watching the same stuff as you, Teddy. Like Ruby and Sora Online. Because they watch it together, which is weird. Yeah, we we actually. Do. <laughs> Those are like the only two things we watch together. Yeah, Sword actually. Online and Ruby. We watch everything else, like Doctor Who. Like, like um. Yeah, everything else we watch separately, but I mean, Sword Art's so good. It's cool. But awful. Can't wait for Korra next month. They released it, or they're releasing it early, or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what has? What's everyone been reading? Uh, nothing. 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 <laughs> Nate, what have you been reading, Nate? I have money for comics. Um, actually, I was reading shit on the book. It's at work, but uh, I'm reading this book. What's it called? Again, wasting your free time with not destiny. No, I, <laughs> I gotta look this book up. Uh, go on to somebody else. I gotta look this book up. What you been reading, Eric? Um, don't even, don't you've been nothing. My don't textbooks even. for college. Yeah. yeah. Right. So let's go. Um, first topic, Teddy. <laughs> what you got? Uh, well, let's see here. What do I want to go? Uh, I think I'll save that until last. Well, since we already brought it up, the um the new Age of Empires looks freaking awful 
It just well, looks yeah, so it just, bad. It, it's like a slap to the face of the Age of Empires exactly. franchise. Exactly. It is. It, well, it's it's mostly going to be for for Windows phones. Mm. And it's it's a Windows app, but I was looking up at it a little bit and it just looks just just, just the worst. Why why <laughs> could do that? This is not a new game. This is literally an app. What is what is going on? Yeah, it, it's it's for Windows 8 and Windows Phones 8. That's what but, that's all it says it's for. Yeah, it's like centered. It's like a game. It's not you know, it, it, trying it, to it, be remind, it reminds me of what's that siege game called that you can Oh shit. Anyways, it reminds it's just a siege game. It's not really you build your fortress up. You just well, you do build your fortress up, but it's not the same age of empires. Yeah, freaking, Man. because they made, do you remember, they had a thing called Age of Empires Online, which was like a free-to-play thing, and it was in the same exact art style, and it was just the worst. It's, it's not even the same game, and when I, I saw I, that they were going why, to make another thing pretty much like it, it is why, really why are they going with this such gooey, cartoony look? I don't know, everyone loves Age of Empires 2 and 3. Because Facebook bought them. Well, mm. did, did Facebook buy him? I don't know, sense. but it looks like it. <laughs> that would make sense. Yeah, it looks like a freaking Facebook app or like Clash of Clans. Clash of Clans even looks better than this. Yeah, it's true. Clash of you Clans know? is a popular, a freaking popular game. Like, no, I, know. I go on Twitch and there's freaking Clash of Clans, like big Twitch streamers. It's weird. Um, it's because Microsoft Studios bought him. Mm. Mm. That's just sad. Because the old games are so good. If they just, like, ramped up basically what they had from the old games it would be amazing yeah why even... not why not re revamp them why not remaster remake them? well they did remaster they, they, they re did remaster but come out with a new game i don't know that'd be awesome. and this, keep somewhere this... the same concept because age of empires was huge this huge. must be just like a knockoff or something it can't be like it this is, year it's, it's it's the same company or whatever though yeah sure. but uh yeah i just wanted to point that out that it looks Absolutely crappy, <laughs> and I will. Well, not I, I'm, never, I'm not going to be able to experience. Well, it's Windows 8. I hate Windows 8. Windows 8 can go. Yeah, suck a dick. <laughs> I, I agree. <laughs> I had Windows 8, and I literally switched you know, back to Windows 7. I had to buy it too. I switched back. You know, yes, Windows 8 was is the new future, the new concept. But it's, I I would say, you know, the only thing, yeah, okay, the new, the new, you know. The tablets, not the tablets like the the touchscreen laptops. That those are great for Windows 8, but with the with the desktops, the stuff that we're doing now, I yeah, Windows 7 all the way, especially with with businesses and and office work and stuff like that. Yeah, definitely. It's just so. But, uh, but Sean, what you got? Um, let's see. I want to talk about uh, Pentakill. Uh, Pinnacle is a, uh, a little band that started doing, I think they just got their break from doing League of Legends themed music. Yeah. Um, it was a little bit, a few months ago I think, and uh, they're hard rock. Um, it's really, really surprising I listen to all their music, and uh, it's similar to Death Clock, just not as, you know, growly. Um and they're really, really impressive. I want to. I, I would suggest checking those guys out. They're pretty good. They got a couple songs like "Death Fire Grasp," uh, "Ohm Wrecker," "Orb of Winter." You know, some really good songs. It's pretty impressive. So that's the band that played at last year's World Championship, right? Uh, I believe so. Okay, because I I saw that and the music seemed good, but they were. <laughs> it was live and it was really weird. Like there was a guy in a. I don't even know how to explain the costume. It, you need to look up the live performance of last year's Worlds from Pentakill. But the songs was good. They uh, League hosted one of their songs on like the front page of the client once, and I listened to that, and that mm -hmm. was really good. So. And I believe that was um, that was Death Fire I'm pretty sure. Yeah. But um, it's a uh, it's I believe they were like built together from uh, League of Legends, like, like Riot. I'm pretty sure because it's themed. You know, after the Pentacle skins with Mordekaiser, and you know, if you go to their site, it's literally um, by yeah, it is Riot Games. Riot Games is made by Riot, Riot Games made Pentakill, and I don't know who the band is behind them, but you know, they're saying it's you know Olaf, Sona, uh, Yorick, 
Carthus and Mordekaiser that's actually the band. So, you know, it's really good, really cool. It's, it's interesting. It's like World, World of Warcraft did with uh, uh, Low Tech. So, level 70 Elite Torn Chief, and now it's like 90 or something, or 80 now, I don't know. But, yeah. yeah. <coughs> so, uh, so, Nate, what, what, what do you want to talk about? Gardening? Hunting, walking around <laughs> nice. in public, because who does that? <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's go back to Doctor Who. I was just curious. You know, I started watching the actual newer episodes that they just come out with. What's with the Doctor? He's awesome. I don't know if I, I, don't know if I like him. He's, he's kind of like an I don't care Doctor. Yeah. You know, like yeah, the it, first couple episodes, he's like, you know, you're already dead. Goodbye, you know. In the, in the last, you know, when they went into the Dalek and and stuff like that. <laughs> the Dalek. I haven't seen the last two episodes, so. Uh, well, no, that, wait, that you was haven't the, seen the Robin was the... Hood one, right? Yeah. You saw the I've first two. The first one. I've We've all seen, seen the first two. So let's I haven't. That. Except for John, he doesn't watch Doctor Who, but. Uh, <laughs> but. No, no, I could. <laughs> no, but, uh, but it's, it really seems like he doesn't care. I freaking love the new Doctor. You he's know? so different. Like, that's exactly what they want to do. He's so, he's so different. Like, th he has a darker tone. The whole the whole show has a darker tone. There's still humor in it, but the, well, the no. lighting's darker. It's like, there's darker angles. It's really cool. Darker angles. That doesn't make any sense, but you get what I mean. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't, you know, back to not the original, original Doctors, because I never really got into the older I episodes. a couple of those. But, you know... <laughs> Compared to all the other doctors, when they revamp the series and all that stuff, it it doesn't. It, like the doc, this is like totally from left field. It's yeah, it totally is. Totally different. It is. It's so good because freaking out of let's say out of Christopher Eccleston, uh, David Tennant, and Matt Smith, Christopher Eccleston was definitely the darkest, and he was the beginning. So as they went on further and further, they got like lighter and lighter and well like, no no i wouldn't quirky. say i wouldn't say that they, they were getting lighter and lighter i say all of them had a dark dark side to it but now oh, yeah. this guy is just freaking loopy it's so good like in the first uh the first episode where he's talking to the hobo guy you know this is spoilers by the way but uh he's talking to the hobo guy and he goes he's like do you like it's, this face i don't like exactly. this face it's, it's, so it's like good. they had a 15 minute scene of him talking about his yeah. face yeah it was and it, it was, was like so loopy. Cool. yeah but uh it's so different like i don't i don't know but uh you know how he basically didn't hesitate to to kind of help the guy with suicide at the end of the first episode he didn't hesitate spoilers. all the others i, I already Wait, said it, I already said it. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, again spoilers but do you, but the, as you can while you're watching it, you, he says you know only one of us is is lying that they could do. So did he actually push him or did the guy actually jump off? I I thought it was a little bit of both. I don't know. And then know. and then once again spoilers, is there really heaven? <laughs> what the <laughs> dude just laughed? No, they're like, no. ah, that's a hilarious <laughs> question. But <laughs> no. No, as you can see, when people die. Yeah, yeah, that's the that's gonna be the season long arc, which is gonna be cool to see how it how they end it. But uh, yeah, I, I really like the new Doctor. Here. So I don't I don't know. I'm I'm still it's still trying to grow on me. We'll see what happens. I I really like it. It's they definitely purposefully made it super different, and I I like it. It, it is very different though. So. Yeah, it is very different. It, well, yeah, and you know, it's totally understandable. I just, I just watched a month and a half worth of, worth of episodes, and now I'm coming on to a brand new season, and that they totally revamped it, so it's going to be different for me. Yeah. So, Wait, did you not watch uh, season seven? I think it is before. While it was going on, did you like wait and then watch it all the way through? Um, I watched no, no, mostly I, I, I watched it all the way through. I watched all the episodes. And then I decided before, like, uh, two months ago, I decided, well, I'm going to start watching them all again because they had it all on Hulu Plus. Okay, yeah. So I, I watched it all again, all the way back to uh, The Tenth Doctor. South so. Park, man. That's all I have to say about Hulu. <laughs> South Park is so good. <laughs> so freaking good. Anyways, all right, moving on. Yeah, Eric. Um, Cora. Oh, my gosh. What a... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And... 
the season of book three ended, what was it, last month? It was, yeah, it was last month. It was probably around the and middle was, or end of it. Last week they announced book four coming out in October, which people were complaining about. And some were like, oh my god. Like, some were like, oh my gosh, we're going to have to wait another year for another book of Korra to come out. And then it comes out a month after the third book, and people are crying that... <laughs> Don't don't even again. Don't even that read does. IGN comments. Those are little kids that are just butt hurt no, it, about it's everything. No, on the core of Facebook page too. It's well, that's that's stupid. Stupid. That, that's stupid. Yes. But I'm just excited to have more core. It is yeah, a bummer yeah. that it's this is the last season, dude. Yeah, I know. It's the last season of Korra. But, like, if hey, they don't go with another show, which if they do, it'll be a long time. They did it with DreamWorks, remember? What? I told you about this. I don't think. Remember, it, but um, some of the people from the Korra team are teaming up with are teaming up with DreamWorks to make a new Korra show, or not Korra show, sorry, an Avatar show. Oh, man, I really want that universe to freaking live on. Like yeah. all I, I, I've said this so many times, all I want in life is an Avatar MMO, MMO because yeah. that universe is so good. Be cool. It's so good, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just excited to have more Korra, and I I do want to say that I freaking um, called it before it happened because why would yeah, they yeah. premiere a season in the summer when they've done it every right. fall, like the entire show's history, and then they're just like, oh, let's just premiere it in the summer, and then they, oh, we're yeah. gonna move it to online now. It's not even gonna be on Nick. They they wanted to get it out quick, so I knew it was coming this fall. Yeah, I thought, but uh. Yeah, Nick I don't know, I'm excited. playing around with the show's ratings and or uh, marketing or whatever. Yeah, they were bad at marketing, Cora, definitely. Yeah. But uh, freaking, okay, the next thing I have to say is I don't know if you guys have any, like, strong opinions on this, but I'm a big DC Comics fan, so I really was looking at how this was going to turn out. So The Rock was just The Rock, you know. Dwayne Johnson. The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, was um, flirting with the idea of being Shazam or Black Adam. He, he wasn't flirting with the idea. He was literally tweeting out pictures of Shazam and Black Adam and was like, which one am I going to be in the new movie? Like, he <laughs> said something to that effect constantly. And he freaking, he finally announced that he was going to be Black Adam, which is good because he fits well for the role of Black Adam, but he... They really need to hire someone really big for Shazam, for The Rock, for right. Black Adam not to, like, overshadow Shazam, you know? Do you guys yeah. care or know anything about those and characters? I, 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 don't, I know the sizes I don't of them. Black Adam is. Do you know I'm who not... Shazam is? No, I'm looking up right now. Okay, look up Shazam, yeah. Shazam's awesome, but uh, Shazam oh, is... Oh, they're villains. Black they Adam's a villain. Shazam, Shazam isn't? No, Shazam no, is... No, Shazam's a hero. Yeah. Shazam's a little boy. Shazam is... If you don't know, Shazam is a... I think his age... In the he's new originally 52, a boy. They made him older, but in the in the old comics, he was like 8 or 10. But in the new 52, yeah. he's like uh, freaking 12, Jeez. maybe? 12 or 13? Yeah. But um, yeah, he, he got powers from an old wizard called Shazam that just passed him, gave him these powers because he said he had a pure heart. So they gave him these powers, and he, whenever he just goes, Shazam, he gets struck by lightning, and he basically turns into Superman. He has the powers of Superman, except for heat vision, cold breath, stuff lightning. like that, but he has lightning and magical powers, which is also, if you didn't know, Superman has weakness to magic. So I'm just saying I think Shazam could beat Superman in a fight any day. But <laughs> Shazam is, like, one of my favorite DC characters, so I'm super excited about this movie. But... I really don't want him to be overshadowed by the villain. That would suck. I hope he does. What, you hope he, you hope he is overshadowed by The Rock? Yep. Oh, wow. Because you know Shazam was also Captain Marvel, right? In DC yeah, Comics. he used to be called Captain Marvel. Yeah. yeah they they just renamed him. <laughs> yeah, that's Black Adam. That's The Rock photoshopped onto Black Adam. <laughs> Look at that hairdo. Look at the yeah. hairdo. It's so clean. It's funny. Sinestro right there. That's like Sinestro's oh, hairdo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. I'm, I, I really am excited for the movie, though. It's just... 
freaking. <laughs> I want them to cast somebody big, and I don't really know who that would be. Who would, you know, who is the freaking, who else in Hollywood is the rock size? No one. <laughs> no one. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, Dave Batista, but that wouldn't really work well. No. <laughs> I don't we... know. They can, like, buff it up. Definitely not. At least Nate. Dwayne Johnson's a little bit of a good actor. Nate, you're, like, 5'4", so yeah. calm down. Editing. <laughs> Are you for real 5'4"? We went over this last time, but... I'm 5'5", five, five, okay? Damn, bro. What's, I'm taller than you. What's oh, going on snap. here? I'm 5'9". I'm taller than you, Eric. Oh, I'm 6'2". I'm taller than all of you. Yeah, Frank. yeah. Shut up. Who cares? <laughs> Dang it. Who cares? Dang it. Uh, but yeah, freaking! I, I really am excited for that movie. But all these DC movies are so far away. I'm excited for the Marvel movies that are coming out. Yeah, that's they're it. actually doing stuff. Guardians of the Galaxy two. <laughs> <laughs> I just like DC characters. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just want them to be good. But so, you know, we don't even need DC movies because you know, The Flash and Arrow. Uh... Yeah, October seventh and eighth. It's so close. It's so close. End so of excited. Supernatural season ten. Yep. Oh. I'm, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm not caught up. I'm still watching Supernatural Nine. I just oh, started watching. Get, uh, get caught yeah, up. I'm, I'm not caught up. I haven't even watched Nine. I'm not Something caught up either. I haven't even watched don't, don't season watch, nine. Don't say anything. No spoilers. Biggest thing ever in Supernatural. So, yep. Everyone dies. Just knock over the camera. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody always dies. They always come back to life. <laughs> Sounds like Except Bobby. <laughs> Except Bobby. Oh. Bobby. Bobby. Oh. Balls. Well, I can never watch this show now. No, I'm just kidding. But, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm just excited for all these movies and all this TV. There's so much stuff still coming, even though a bunch of it's already come out. There's tons of crap coming. Oh, we're such nerds, geeks. Pretty much. Be proud of it, Nate. Be proud of what you are. <laughs> I don't watch too many shows. Don't just I'm have a like moose on the back of your head. <laughs> I'm gonna get swamped with like shows I haven't watched. Like I'm already behind on two episodes of Ru Ruby, I think. Yeah. And Same now way. we're behind on Swear Online. Destiny is I'm all that matters. Doctor Who. <laughs> anyway, Sean, what do you got? Um. So, has anyone played League of Legends lately? Nope. I have. No, I not, haven't. Not, not I played not one. Not and, uh, there's, last week. That new there's game a new mode? yeah, the new game mode. Um, Ascension. Ascension. It's pretty fun. Um, you get 5v5 in uh, Crystal Scar, and you all have to use your recall to teleport to one of the uh, little platforms, and you have to go to the middle and either kill the Xerath there, because in lore, Xerath was the one who ascended from his human to a magical form. And um, you can do that to get points. You get points by killing the enemy team, and you get points by getting um, these... Points. I mean, you you literally go click this thing and it it's a like a big crystal with you know the buffs that are in the middle. I don't know what to call it. Like this little pillar. You got to click it and then it gives you points if you channel it for long enough. But whoever gets the killing blow on Zareth ascends and they get like plus 450 health plus like 25 percent attack damage. I don't know what the numbers are, but they get a shit ton of just buffed. That sounds kind of interesting. They get big and they go, they just wreck. So it's really cool. It's really fun. I would, uh, I suggest it. Uh, I played it amidst playing Destiny, so you know it was good enough to draw me away for Destiny for one game. So <laughs> for one game, and then no, I gotta go. I ascended as Brom and I had like 4K health, and I just put up a shield and everyone ran. Put a, <laughs> you put up a Titan Defender, supercharge. Is that yeah? Yeah. No. Yeah, my uh, <laughs> my ward. Gosh, but I I kind of wanna. Try that. I I thought I saw in the document that you said new league game mode that you wanted to talk about that, and I didn't even look into it. I was just like, oh, there must be a new league game game mode coming out. I didn't know it was out. I might have to try. It's been out for a few days. Yeah, I had I had no idea. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll have to try that. That that sounds fun. It is. It's pretty fun. Hmm. So uh, Nate, otherwise known as Moose on your head, we need to name that Moose. <laughs> Mate. Uh, I already named this moose. What's what's the moose's name? Um, actually, I can't remember it. Uh, girlfriend gave it to me and she named it, so I can't even remember. But well, we can well, name go it. Go ask her. <laughs> okay, hold on. Uh, this could be the mascot <laughs> for the stream. Serious, All right, Eric, Eric, go ahead. <laughs> Say something. What you want? Something. Oh. What do you want to talk about? Well, I already talked about Supernatural. That was one of my topics. Um. 
What? Destiny, bro. Just oh, Destiny. okay. Or, no, let's just De Destiny the end because it's going to be a long topic. Yeah. We did that We're last time and we went 20 minutes over. <laughs> we can just do it in the middle and it'll work out. Yeah, fun. here. No, 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 we'll do it there. Okay. I'll, we'll get this topic out of the way iPhone. I know a lot of people rag on it because it, it does have dated technology. That's obvious. But, I mean, they're they're getting there slowly. <laughs> they're getting slowly. there. iPhone I mean, 6, we're getting there. It's, <laughs> I heard that it was like two inches smaller than the iPad mini. Yeah. That's Jeez. ridiculous. That's so it's stupid. They're taking a freaking book from Samsung's phones. Yeah, and they are. They're, making, they're starting to make huge phones now. Because mm -hmm. and they're on fucking board with all the other people for Android, and they're starting to make watches. Yep. So all those Apple fanboys can just suck a dick because I'm not sure about the watch. They can't. Uh, you can buy so whatever good. phone you want. If you're in the comments and you like iPhone, that's fine. If you prefer it, that's fine. <laughs> to me, to yes. Sean, uh, I don't know. to one who has a better opinion, iPhones are terrible. They're overpriced, <laughs> and you're paying for outdated stuff. So I mean. Well, this guy has a shit phone too. What if so, they I mean... just like the OS? <laughs> See, that's that's cool. I the like OS the OS. Yeah, yeah, so all right, the OS isn't bad, but you're paying for outdated stuff. You yeah, want what if they don't care? You can get something because you just need to get rid of that phone. Yeah, I'll get. I'm. I'm if gonna you have money and you, and you like the phone. OS better, power to you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you want it, that's your fault. So. <laughs> fault. <laughs> I will always look down on people who buy Apple products. iPods were the shit. They were so awesome back in the day. Well, yeah, because there's Apple no has made, so, Apple has so made two good things phone. since then. Their chargers, the lightning charger, are awesome. That's fucking ingenious. And the charger for the uh, Apple Watch is really cool because it's just a magnet that sticks on. But other than that, it's it's just garbage. The Galaxy S5 doesn't have like interchangeable batteries. Which means it's, like, yeah, so you can charge like 16 yeah. batteries and yeah, never run out. That sounds pretty awesome. So, I want to get so that. We decided What's your Moose's name? It's just Moose. What the frick? Just moose. It's like when so, people name a cat cat. That's so stupid. <laughs> just moose. Uh, I don't know. Name. Should, we, should we do like like George the Moose or Bob the Moose? We'll figure something out. Hmm. All right. Well, right now it's moose, and we'll figure a good name out. It's got to start with an M. Yes. Um, Why? Because like Michael the Moose, you know? It's got to be... <laughs> well, it's got uh, to be an alliteration. I, I want yeah. something like Bob or Billy or... Or George, George. or George the Moose, or something like that. George the Moose. I'm not against George the Moose. I don't have it. I don't really care. It's not my moose. He's a pretty cute moose. I'm not gonna Le lie. Leroy Jenkins the Moose. moose. <laughs> Apparently, they nerfed that card in Hearthstone. That's about all yeah. I know about that. <laughs> I hate that card. Freaking, I wanted that card. I played Hearthstone for like. <coughs> oh gosh, choking, dying. <laughs> I played Hearthstone for like a full day for like four to six hours just trying to get a Leroy Jenkins card and I never got it. So I was like, I'm not having fun with this and I just left. But freaking, I love Leroy Jenkins. That video is so good. It's, it's a classic. Yeah. But, okay, I guess it's back to me. Let's see. What do I got? Oh! This Wait, is, Nate uh, didn't go. Nate didn't have a yeah, chance Nate. to go. What, what are we talking about? Whatever you want to talk about, sir. Whatever it's I want to talk about. Topic. Topic. Um, I don't know. Not much has been going on. Like I said, I'm setting up my Twitch account. I want to play more um, Age of Empires. Um, I'm going to continue playing Destiny and EverQuest 2. And I got this cool collector's limited edition landmark game card, which is pretty sweet. Um, I guess they only sold a bundle of each to each GameStop. So, and I was very surprised. There was only a couple left at my GameStop, so I was very surprised there was any left. Other than that, that's about it. I don't, I don't, I don't have anything else going on. I'm just kind of going with the flow. Hunt season's coming up. Been shooting, been shooting my bow every day, so I'm gonna go kill a, kill a deer or two. Like archery. Yeah, archery's cool. Yeah, archery's cool. <laughs> Yeah, I'll have that, to, and I'll that's have not because we watch Arrow or anything. I'll, I'll have to I'll have to bring in my bow and show you guys one soon. I've actually oh. always had a freaking interest in archery. I just never cared enough to learn. But uh, yeah, I have so many freaking things to talk about. But I have one that is about Destiny, but we won't start the Destiny conversation yet, I guess. 
But uh, yeah. I just want to say well, that... Well, hold on, hold on, Teddy. What the hell are you doing? Halfway through the video, you've been holding up your arm. Yeah, he has a loft bed. I'm just curious. I'm, I'm I just, just hold on like, to it. I, just I thought you, maybe it. you were exercising, like holding up a big weight, and be like, oh, I'm just wrong. Shake weight. My muscles. Shake weight. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just didn't. I don't know. It's where I put my arm. See, I, um, it's kind of like it's kind of like when you're in the car and you put your hand on the handle. Yep. The yep, the oh shit that handle. That's what. Yeah. It's called. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. But, uh, that's what my cousins call them. So. When when this uh, when they took this loft and I was still at the old house, I was sitting. I was set up at like a card table, and I would just randomly for the first couple days to a week, I'll just randomly go, "Oh, there's nothing up there." I would like <laughs> try and grab it, and my arm would just fall. And I'm like, what the frick? But, uh, Sleep you. Yeah. Uh, Anyways, Destiny was was slash is the most successful new video game franchise launch ever. Yes. Like that's so legit. That's insane. Ever. Like, like new video game franchise launch. I mean, it's been getting a lot of hate on like comments and stuff, but it's because there's such the a sales huge, like, speak for what's themselves. What's the hate? What's the hate? Uh, some people think it's repetitive. Story. But I like I like how it all works, so I don't care if it's repetitive. But uh, and it's really not even no. But uh, it's it's so good. Like the sales speak for themselves. Even if it is getting a bunch of hate, it's sold so much. So it's, pff, who cares? Yeah, and the people that are hating on it, they're the ones that are uh, trading the game back in at level ten, not even getting to where the game gets interesting. Uh, yeah. Level twenty, it really does change hey, how you play. Don't be hating. I'm only level nine, so. <laughs> I'm, yeah, the I'm game. Just... I'm just saying we should all get on and play Crucible after this, but I don't know. you guys got things to do. I mean, whatever. <laughs> but, but yeah, we're me and Erica at least are gonna get on and play something because it's yeah it's so good. I have. I wonder how many out, Sean. How many hours do you have in the game? Oh my god! How do you tell? Uh, Bungie.net or the uh, mm -hmm. Destiny Companion. App. More than anyone here. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> That's why I wanted to know. But um, where, I have, where are you guys like, at? On my Titan, I have like 23 total. Let me check. And then on my Warlock, I have one. So I, have I think you got 23 in the first two days. Dang, dude. Did you just play like nonstop? Just... Dude, I've been so hard. Alright, where do you go? Uh, it's under Bungie.net and then Legend. Alright, right, continue. Let's continue sad. talking. But uh, I just, seriously, the freaking. I, that must and they made that back they made the money back you know how it was we were talking about how it was the most money spent to make 500 million yeah 500 million dollars it just made back instantly already made back already profit it's insane Bungie I really hope they stick with it and they start listening to the community and adding some things that really yeah. need to be added but, uh, yeah. anyways Sean go on with your uh, go with your topic while you're uh, while you're looking for your hours because I really want to talk about that with Nate. Uh, all I really want to say is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare looks fantastic. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> it I does look good. Pre-ordered that on a whim because you got a um, whoa. Shader. Where'd that come? Shader. What? Just pre-ordering. Oh, GameStop because you suck and went Best Buy. Um, you could game. You could uh, <laughs> pre-order it and get a uh, a really cool shader. And I did that, and I was like, I'll just cancel it later. And it was like. I looked at the trailer and everything, and it was pretty freaking awesome. Yeah, it's going to be really cool. I think when it gets closer to time, we're going to have a podcast specifically about it, because I do want to get it. And um, I have a friend that's, like, a Call of Duty expert, like, legit. He was on, in um, Black Ops 2 on the PlayStation 3, he was on the, gosh dang it, he was on, <laughs> he was on like, the top 50 in the world in the ranking system on Black Ops 2 on PS3. And it was amazing. Okay, that's not what I'm doing. <laughs> not what I'm doing. But uh, yeah, we need to get him on here. <laughs> um, I. It kind of reminds me of a uh, a very refined um Titanfall. Yeah. It when I saw the gameplay, I immediately thought it looked like Titanfall, but even faster, which is crazy. Yeah. Because Titanfall is super. With fast. no parkour. Yeah. Man. Uh, so I have. Wait. I have 32 hours. Wow. 
Dang. Into Destiny, so. Good for you. Okay. Bravo. 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 <laughs> I'm, Where do I'm, I go to look up my hours? Uh, Bungie.net. You can look up Nate, no one cares about you. <laughs> you probably have two or three. three. Four. Two or three. That's my guess. My guess is it two and a half. Here, so. I, mean, kill I, you say, I say four. Okay. Eric, what do you say? Nineteen. Nineteen. No, for for Nate. Oh. Uh, <laughs> three. Three. Okay. I think I'm gonna lose this, but I've already put in my bet. <laughs> Drum roll. Hey, Pull it up. up. <laughs> what, do I, what do I just sign in with well, PlayStation Network or what? I yeah. can't smack this over. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, since you guys are, well, we're getting close to time. Let's see what time it is. Yeah, we can start talking about Destiny if you guys want. It's 9:30. We got we got about like. Uh, Been talking about Destiny. <laughs> yeah, well, we we have talked about Destiny already. But yeah. God, dang yeah. it! <laughs> <laughs> I don't even realize that I'm doing it, man. It's just a natural thing. Um, God. how many crystals? Put your sleeves back down. I don't know. I'm gonna mock you every time you do it. <laughs> now I'm gonna have to make sure not to do it. But um, how, yeah. How many crucible kills do you guys have? Oh, crucible kills? Uh, Seven thousand. What? That's no. That's. Oh, I that's, can't look it up. Oh, oh, that's overall. Dang it. I don't know. Um, a click lot. on the kills button. I'm pretty sure I have like seven hundred something. I have eight hundred sixty. Gosh dang it! You're just Ooh. better at crucible. Than my I try and get better, but. Okay, Man, where, I... do we go, where do we go? To just our games or what? Uh, it's under Legend. Under Bungie.net, it's Legend. on the left. But, my uh, KD on the Crucible is 1.5. Oh. Okay, my KD is 1.2. I have 182 kills. And my best singles game... Kills. Dang, dude. What? That, that's like that's like not many matches at all. You didn't put much... Oh, I don't, I don't play PvP very yeah. much. Wait, um, do I have to pre-order this, or what? <laughs> what? It says right here, stay connected to the world of Destiny. Okay. <laughs> that doesn't, you... Nothing there is about pre-ordering. It, it says pre-order on the bottom there. <laughs> <laughs> Learn That's to use so the internet. Are you under Legends on the left on Bungie.net, signed in yeah. with your PlayStation Network account? Yes. I'm signed in with Facebook. Yeah. But yeah, if you're under Legends, it should be right there. There should be like a little pie chart that says hours. It, it says it says I don't need to pre-order. The fuck, Nate? Show your screen. Yeah, do that. <laughs> I'm, I'm on, I can't. I'm on a different. I'm on my laptop, and then my desk. Oh, yeah. here. It's literally Bungie.net, and you sign in through place. Oh places. wait, just <laughs> wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I am. Um... I signed in with a wrong account. Hold on. I haven't PvP'd very much, so. Mm. PvP is like though, one of my favorite things about it. Though when I did, I went ham in Rumble. Yeah. I turned up. I had like over a thousand above everyone else. Yeah, I, I suck at free for alls. <laughs> I, I mean, the place where I do the best is Clash. And skirmish. Skirmish. Oh my gosh, me, Eric, and oh. Andrew. Um. Oh, yeah, I, do you guys mind yeah. if I go to another topic real quick? Go ahead. Yeah. Okay, me, Andrew, and Eric. Have uh freaking we play skirmish and we've been playing it on stream you know check out the link in the description but uh <laughs> we've been Same playing it fun. on stream and we're on an 11 win streak on skirmish we just haven't lost when we've been playing skirmish nice. it's so I, uh... fun because like you feel like you have more control over the game when you have all your team right there I was with a bunch of guys I met and it was they were like literally random on that day yeah and I just met them that day and we went on like a nine win streak with control. Dang. And it was just four of us too, so we were carrying the shit out of it. Yeah, that's pretty legit right there. So. But uh okay, I wanna just talk about how the freaking the state or the future of MLG in Destiny. Like I feel like there's really interest in it. Yeah, I want there to be an MLG in Destiny because there there are a lot of like old Halo professional Halo players and even some optic players that said if there was a Destiny circuit they would try and switch over to that. Because a lot There's of not going to be an MLG, world. but there will be a very competitive world for it. Oh, yeah. But see, like, the thing is, right now, there will not be. Like, that is not oh, no. physically possible. Because None the, at all. the big thing that it's lacking is custom matches. Mm -hmm. It's also rack lacking uh, a ranking system. Rank. It's ranking rank. Yeah, ranked. But uh, that's not 
necessary. I would really like it, but it's not necessary. What's necessary is the custom matches. Like, even, normally if a game doesn't have a rank system, you can go on this website called Game Battles, and the community sort of makes their own ranking system. They have tournaments, they have a season, they do all this whole thing, but you can't do that without a custom system. A custom yeah. match system. Like, really, Bungie? I don't know. Bungie's I, known for that, too. Yeah, so, I really yeah, hope they, yeah. they change that. Custom matches and... Tons of game modes. Which that, on the scale of things they need to fix, is like the lowest. First of all, they need to fix not having volume control options. Yeah, that too, that too, that's a thing. That upsets me so badly because I'll be in-game talking to people and it's just the game audio and the explosions and everything is just too loud and it's ridiculous. Yeah. I've switched to party chat whenever we... Yeah, all the time. And then uh, what would be nice would be proximity chat, the opt-in proximity chat. So if you want to... You know, opt in and you'll be able to talk to people near you. And one thing I really hope they'll change is the limit to three people in a fire team. That is just the worst. Yeah. The thing is. I always have four and we can't do it. Yeah. The thing is, I don't think they're going to change the fire team limit unless it's in an expansion or in something like that. Because I was, I was going through a story mission and I can't remember which one it was. It's one where you have, you know, spoilers. There's interceptors and you can pick up interceptors. And. Freaking, I went in, and you look around, and there's three interceptors. Exactly three. There's not any more, you know? And there's only areas specific for That's three. super easy to change, though, because they're... But there's stuff like well, that all around the world. There's three classes, you know? There's, it's specifically, the game is designed around three. They, which is sad. Yeah, the, the game is designed for three people, but... All right, what are, your, what are you guys' guesses? Uh, Four. I said two and a half hours. Three. John? Four. Three hours, 30 minutes, yes. 23 seconds. Well, Sean won. I win! Yeah, I win. I win. <laughs> 23 <What>? seconds. <laughs> <laughs> that face, Eric. I Eric really thought three. you had less. Here, I'll, I'll share my screen here. Hmm. I don't know. You need to play with us, man. I got a lower level character just to play with people who are low. I have a lower level character, too. It's like don't. six now or something. You do, oh, but you, you fell. So Eric bad. made one, but he I fell asleep. asleep at while it. I was playing. Oh my yeah. gosh! Proud of you, Eric. I don't remember what happened. Yeah. All right. Proud so, of me. one of the things that we were talking about earlier was soloing the game. Um, if you're, a, you know, if you're a hardcore gamer, if you're, you know, a really good gamer at FPSs, if you enjoy having a challenge, do not play the game on easy. It is ridiculously simple. It is literally child's play on easy. I literally went through and meleeed everyone because it was that easy. And I went up and meleeed captains to death. I meleeed bosses to death. Yep. It's so simple on easy, and it's not fun because it literally feels like you're just cheating, like you're on God mode. Because if you die, you have to stand there and try on easy. But if you try it on hard, it actually adds an aspect to the game of having to duck behind cover, having to regenerate your shields, having to actually aim your shots so you can kill them quickly so they don't kill you as fast. It makes the game feel more immersive. It makes it feel like there's actually a challenge being put up. And it makes you feel like, hey, I'm not just fucking stomping shit into everyone. It's just... I love stomping crap into everyone. <laughs> Go See, play like, God what of War. Just... What? Go play God of War. <laughs> No, I like Destiny. You know, like that's completely an opinion. I mean, I understand, but I, I really. It's an like opinion. It's, too, it's fact know? for gamers that enjoy a challenge. Yeah, and yeah, definitely. Gamers that are really good at FPSs. Yeah, like see, one of my favorite game series is Infamous, and Infamous, the uh, whole thing about Infamous is, you get more and more powerful, and you feel more and more powerful, and you can. There are more ways you can just own these enemies, and you know that's that's what I yeah, like. But, it's fun. Yeah. They didn't have, like, the level percentages that Destiny do, because when you're level 20, you're fighting, you can still one-shot a drag. Yeah. You know? But, uh, I so don't know. They don't feel and harder. The way I did it was I played the story through on easy, and I played it with, you know, three people, so, I don't know. There were more enemies. It's not necessarily hard. It's even better enemies, on hard but, when you have more people. But, yeah, I, I sort of, the way I went through it on easy was that I just sort of went through each story mission, and then the strike, you know, it alone was pretty hard. But then... Once you get to level 20, everything you do has to be hard. Like, all the all the strikes are automatically pretty hard. Like, level 22 strikes as, like, 21 or 22 are pretty difficult. Yeah. So it just felt sort of like natural progression to me. But, yeah, the, it's 
you're definitely right though. It's way it's way harder. On, on top of give more of a challenge, you also get more experience in a. Yeah, you do get more experience. Yeah. You don't get more loot. That is not true. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I knew you get more experience at least. So. You get more experience, but if you what I've found out though is if say you do the Devil's Lair, which is a, a level eight strike. Spoilers. If you haven't played the game, you suck. Um, it's a level eight strike, dude. If they haven't played Destiny, they're terrible people. <laughs> Don't just tell them that. That's awful. Um, just say unless, if you haven't played Destiny, you really should because it's a cool game. <laughs> unless they have a legitimate reason, like they can't. If you choose not to play Destiny, you you need to. And I don't like yeah, you until you do. <laughs> so, <laughs> but um, if you say you're level twenty and you play the Devil's Lair on level eight, you'll get yeah, yeah. a level eight reward at the end of it. So, the strikes are um, the reward is uh, it's determined by what level the strike is. Not what level you are; it's what level. It is. So, if it's a level twenty-four strike, you're gonna get gear that'll give you get you to level twenty-four in the rewards. You have a chance of getting the reward, should yeah. I say? Which let's talk about the reward system for Destiny and PvP and strikes. I freaking love how it. Well, my, I'll cover the PvP aspect necessarily because that's what I've been. I actually have more hours in that than any other mode. But it's just, it's so good. It works so seamlessly. It gives you stuff that you need for your level. But it doesn't, I think that it probably should give you more things more often. But at the same time, I like the rarity, you know? So Let's it's really way. good. At the end of the PvP games, they get every now and then, it's not always, but every now and then, you'll just I get a legend. reward. It's okay, the, the reward system for PvP is completely random. Yeah. yeah. So like, that's if you do really that's good. Sucks. You're not you don't have something awesome, and that's that. What leads to they? It gives you no incentive to do well. Yeah. It gives you no incentive to win if you don't like PVP. Yeah. You know, I mean, if you like PVP, that's fine. But I don't really like PVP, and it doesn't really give me much other than you know rep. Which, if I had a higher chance to get, you know, and it doesn't have to be gear, but if I had a higher chance to get like a strange coin for you know getting the highest amount of kills or you know, capturing the most things or capturing more things. Because what really pisses me off is if I go in there, come out with a 4.0 KD, and the losing team, the losing team's worst member who played the whole game and had zero kills and, like, 20 deaths, gets a legendary weapon, and he's level 10 and it's a legendary 20 weapon, that's ridiculous. That pisses me off because he does not deserve that. I worked much harder than him, and I put in more hours, and I deserve to have something for doing harder work. But see, the thing is, is it? I don't know if it's completely and totally random. Like it is completely random. No, I'm just saying, like when I was level eight and I was playing PVP, I got like a level eight or a level nine item. No, yeah, uh, that's that's yeah, pretty that's level, I mean. But you have a chance of getting a level twenty legendary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But which you shouldn't be able to get that like until you're twenty at least. I had a, I had a really bad game and I got a legendary sniper rifle engram. I was like, what? And then. <laughs> For the rest of my other games, I was top of the leaderboard for like three hours of playing the Crucible. I got nothing. But so, see, that's ridiculous. what's crazy. I have like 23 hours in my Titan or whatever, and I do not own a legendary. I got an exotic okay. today, but it's not for my class. Uh, for a freaking hunter. I, I opened it and I was like, really? That's sad. <laughs> see, that's something that upsets me too. Yeah, that's a If you get a legendary Ingram, the most exciting part about getting it should be getting it and un, or decrypting it. They need to take off the randomness about that. They need to make it to where it's more class-specific because there are plenty of people who don't want to make other classes. I, for one, am not too fond of the Warlock. I don't want to make one, really. Yeah. But I'm going to be forced to for the achievements, and I really don't have to put in many hours. So it shouldn't be like, oh, I'm on my ton, I've put in 30-something hours, and I get a... Warlock legendary glove from a legendary engram, you know, it's yeah. it's you, more aggravating than anything. Can you switch items between each characters? Yeah, yeah you can in your vault. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. But, um, but and they need to and it's it's a higher chance to get a freaking blue from your legendary engram than getting a legendary. Yeah, which is really upsetting to the people who get it because it makes it more of a aggravation than an exciting point in the game. Yeah. My legendary You're like, oh, I got legendary. a legendary, then you decrypt it. Oh. Yeah, I decrypted my uh, legendary sniper rifle in the game, and it gave me weapon materials. 
that's crappy. Yeah, that's, that's not good. That's that's really crappy. But, but I mean, a lot of the times, if you decrypt it and it doesn't give you a weapon, it'll give you like motes of light or strange coins. Yeah. Or send in any of these. And we'll give strange coins or motes of light, but weapon materials to like upgrade guns. No. Yeah, that's that's ridiculous. This is really yeah, cool so. getting everyone's opinions on the game and what they've been playing and really enjoying about it. Cause, I mean, really, I've been as soon as I I don't know I haven't had a game like this in forever. Like I got it, and as soon as I could, I got on. And like, as soon as I necessarily had to, I got off. Like I did not want to get off. And every night I've been playing, it's like I don't want to get off. And then the next day I get on it as soon as possible. Like I haven't had a game like that in forever, and it's really, really awesome. It's. it's oh, it just so feels like the harder you have to work for something, the better the loot should be. Yeah, but. Or the I, higher the chance that you get something. I definitely hope Bungie's listening, listening to the community, you know, because they are putting listen, out yeah, a lot of ideas. Video right now. Yeah. Bungie, are you listening Tweet right now? <laughs> All right, but, Deej, listen right now. <laughs> <laughs> but the freaking my from coming necessarily from like a PvP standpoint, I really think that they. One thing that they need to do to add longevity to the freaking PvP is adding rank system. Like, it's so good how it is now, but, like, that would make it so much See, better. See, that wouldn't do anything for me. Yeah. Like, I, I enjoy PvP sometimes. What would make it better is to make more game modes, which I, I, See, I, I doubt they're not going to do the that. game modes there, there are, you know? I just want yeah, to but be I mean, able to... Like, see, this is my example. When me and Eric and um, Andrew went on that win streak, it was fun, and, you know, we got some XP, and we got some items and all this from it, but we didn't... At the end, it would have been much better if we had something to show for it, as in, like, we started at bronze, and we went up a league, you know, because we did so well. That would have been so awesome. Just having something more to show for it like that. Like, this is how good I am in Crucible. Like... Maybe an item for each league. You have a bronze mar titan mark. You have a silver titan mark, you know? Quit using so, league. No, I'm, I'm saying leagues, as in, like, bronze. I know, but quit using league. Okay. Rank. Dota 2. <laughs> Dota 2. Anyways, but, uh... That's about all I have. I just re Oh, um... Let's just go over a couple things real quick since we're about to end. We got... Um... Minecraft came out on the PS4 and Xbox One, and me and Eric played that for, uh, for a good while before Destiny came out. This time around on Minecraft, I've actually been planning like projects I want to do in to make it more interesting instead of just going out and doing stuff. Me and me and Andrew, we've been planning out to make certain projects. We have like a Watchtower and a Sky City and stuff like that yeah. instead of just going out there. It's a lot more fun. Minecraft is the exact same thing if you just sort of go into it without an idea of what you want to do. It's, mm. I've done that so many times, you know, it's ridiculous. But um, let's see, Warframe came out on the Xbox One. That's not super recent, but it happened, I'm pretty sure, pretty close to the last podcast, and I thought we should cover it, just because uh, mm -hmm. we have, we have uh, a guy named Grunt Cooker that consistently joins our stream, and he's on, uh, he's on Xbox. Um, let's see. Warframe's good. Arrow, yeah. Yeah, yeah Grunt Arrow. Cooker is Arrow and the Flash premiere, we covered that. Um, quick, you guys don't like this, but I freaking love this show. Video Game High School Season 3 trailer. Yeah, like don't that. say anything, Sean. But <laughs> Video Game High School Season 3 <laughs> came up. Uh, the trailer looks makes it look so good. I'm so excited. I, I love the characters in that show. But uh, I'm just that's too coming old out. Show. Yeah, that's coming out in October or so. Uh, Flash and Arrow in October. Legend of Korra in October. Hunting season, probably in October. No, I'm just kidding. I don't Iron know. Banner in October. <laughs> Iron Banner Locked in October. In. The raids October begin. October in September. Okay, that's Locked about it. But um, The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead yep. begins in October. But, uh, um, <laughs> natural. Begins in October. Uh, that's, that's about it, yeah. So uh, we got... We got what? October is the month. October is the month, definitely. And and so is September 9th, but still. Oh, October okay, this is what shows. I was going to say. The raid for Destiny yes, unlocks Tuesday. on Tuesday. Sean is going to be the only one playing it on Tuesday. Because uh, I have work until 8 o'clock. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I will be playing it once I get home, and I will finish it that night, I bet. Yeah. Because I have some really good uh, buddies that were doing some strikes, and we are... Uh, very efficient at what we do, and uh, we finished the level 22 weekly heroic in under like in like 25 minutes, which yep. is 
ridiculously impressive. Well, dang. Because that was uh, our first time going through. What's so cool about the raid is that apparently, like, it's so big that, like, you there are checkpoints that it saves throughout the week. It uh, mm -hmm. At the beginning of the next week. week, it resets. But you can come oh. back to it another day and go at that checkpoint, which is good. But we would be fine if Eric wasn't on Instagram while we're freaking doing the strike. Eric ran out of uh, special ammo. He had no. primary ammo. He had there primary. was a glitch. Yeah, he wasn't was... getting special ammo. So he's I like, joined... I'm worthless. Okay. I can't do anything. So he okay. sat back and he guys, just guys, went on guys, Instagram. Guys. Wait 30 seconds if you're completely out of ammo and it will restock you. What? What? Yep, but the game see, will restock you if you're out of ammo. But see, Eric wasn't completely out of ammo. For 30 just seconds. Out of yeah, just waste ammo. your ammo. I did that. I tested it in the Nexus Strike, and uh, it actually works. It's all on right, and it was really awesome. See, what was happening, my special ammo was not... There, no one no, was dropping it. So I was just like, I can't do anything. That's not a glitch. You can't do stuff. You have primary ammo. I did do stuff. <laughs> you did do stuff eventually, but like, yeah, he was Instagram. just sitting there. Yeah, at one point, <laughs> like we were in the Sepix Prime part, and he was sitting in the entrance, you know, back, in the back, you? just like standing there. And me and Andrew were like constantly dying and reviving each other. <laughs> and we're like, Eric, do crazy. something. And he's like, oh, what? <laughs> uh, it was awful. But um, yeah, that's about it. Let's see, how much time do we have? We can cover oh, Guardians shit. of the Galaxy real quick if we want to. Yeah, six minutes. Such a good, such a good movie. Oh, God, Baby Groot. Spoilers! Baby Groot is the cutest fucking thing ever, <laughs> and it needs to be on everything, uh, everywhere. <laughs> on everything. <laughs> <laughs> Just Baby Groot on this computer. Baby Groot. Baby Groot! But, uh, yeah. Hey, Nate, what did you think of the movie? We all saw it a while back. Yeah, I, I, I finally went and saw it last week, and saw, saw not saw it. Saw it. <laughs> um, uh, no, it was it was it was actually really good. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, my favorite part was at the end. Spoilers. When he started dancing. Um, the dance off. The, yeah, the dance off. <laughs> so the, good. What are you it doing? Was like, what are I'm you just doing? Just turned blossom. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> and it was pretty sweet. And then and then it was pretty. It was pretty. Gave me a little bit of chills when everybody grabbed on to the crystal. And rocket. That was like crazy. And, that was that was pretty awesome. So yeah, it's it's a good movie. I really really liked it. Yeah, no, spoiler. I'm... He's not fully human. Exactly. That's a Spartan. Well, oh that that's that's a huge that's a huge spoiler. Why would you even say that? I just said spoiler. <laughs> what well, you gotta give him a couple seconds? That's like the biggest spoiler in the whole entire no, movie. No, it's not. Star well, Lord was a series before Guardians of the Galaxy was even thought of, first yeah, of all. Yeah, I know that, but people that haven't seen the Guardian of the Galaxy episodes or, or comic books in the Guardian of the Galaxy and our story it's not my fault, comics man, and stuff you. like that. But, you know, if I didn't see that and I heard that, I would have been super pissed. Hey, I said spoiler, so you better shut your ears real <laughs> you gotta, quick. You gotta say shut spoiler and then wait about five oh, six no, seconds. Man. And you then gotta be on point. You gotta have that reaction time. Spoiler, click, <laughs> done. Spoiler. Yeah. Yeah, I don't so, know. I think people who watch this are going to be mostly caught up with, like, pop culture and games and, and movies and something. stuff. Because we don't give you any time. We're just like, all right, we're discussing Doctor Who now. Go. <laughs> he killed the guy. <laughs> Basically. <how it> <laughs> oh, <yeah. Spoilers. laughs> oh, oh, crap. That was a little late. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> no, that, that's never a true spoiler. So many people do that. I'm like, so what happened in that recent Walking Dead episode? Everyone died. <laughs> well, I, mean, I know that's, that's not what happened. <laughs> well, that's actually supernatural. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. But everybody comes back to life. It's all good. Not by yeah. Spoilers! <laughs> Spoilers. Uh, uh, what? Spoilers. Balls. Anyways, Balls. well, um, <laughs> thank you guys for joining us for the second Technically, ever Bobby Jones. does come back. But he's still dead afterwards. He's still a, but he's a ghost. <laughs> Teddy, <laughs> not afterwards god okay anyways thank you for listening to our rattling all right teddy end it out thank you goodness <laughs> you guys just kept going i was like in the middle of it and then i was like, wait a minute he just oh, interrupted yeah. me <laughs> but, uh, thank you for joining the second ever game of united podcast we talk about everything here whether it's relevant or not, we don't really care. But <laughs> thanks for joining. It's always fun doing this. We're testing to do this on Sunday night, render it and upload it, and have it there Monday. If we can do this, I want to move to weekly. And I think they said it was all right. 
They they we sometimes just, don't we, respond to my uh, Facebook we just, messages. We just oh, I forgot to download Messenger. We need to look at we need to look for topics more often because yeah, I yeah. do. I had most of those topics. I had three. I had nine. <laughs> I had five. They had four. two. Four. <laughs> but uh. Yeah, thanks for joining, guys. It's always fun. Well, hopefully we will be able to do this on a weekly basis because that would be that'd be way better. Have it down to a science. So, thanks for joining. Bye. Thank you, guys. Thank, thank you for joining. And, oh, wait, wait, wait. If you have All any right. questions you want us to answer, about yes, pretty much anything. Anything. Pretty much any anything. concerns about how bad Teddy sucks at video games? Just ask. <laughs> I'll let you know. I'll right. let you know. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for joining, guys. Bye. All right. Bye. See you, man. Bye. Bye. Time for some dust from here! <laughs> <laughs> I hope you were recording.